Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another Minecraft tutorial, and today, due to a request in the comments of the original video, we are going to be doing an update to my how to build a Minecraft fishing hut slash boathouse tutorial video that I did almost two years ago now. It's like a year and a couple months, like a year, just under a couple months, under two years probably, since we did it. And I'm going to be doing an update to it, and I'm on my city world, so over there you can just see... The outline of the gates to my city and you guys probably haven't seen this world before but we are going to be doing the boathouse on here and yes I know this is an extremely simple build compared to a lot of the other buildings that I do tutorials on but considering how popular the original uh, tutorial got with this fishing hut slash boathouse the need to do an update was not really needed but I decided to do one anyway due to the request that the staircase on the side was a bit weird and I thought why not just do a little update because I much prefer this design of the boathouse. So I hope you guys did enjoy the fact that I'm taking the time to do an update to it and I thank you all so much for the popularity that video has got but without further ado let's start on the tutorial. So I've just thrown this together now and it's not too complicated so we want to probably start over, we'll just do it over on this bit here so you want to get pillars of three oak logs leave a gap of three and a gap of three so you end up with a rectangle that is a total of seven blocks long and five blocks wide and you get and yeah, you get that. You leave three blocks between each pillar, so there's a three by three square in the diagonal corners of each of the pillars. There you are. So you get that, and that is the basis of the structure. And then for the staircase on the side, you want to... Let me just double check. Okay, yeah, I'm just double checking, double double checking. You want to come three blocks out from there, go up three. And over here again, up three. So you get this here. Like so. And then we want to move on to the second floor. So temporarily, you're going to put two oak logs here and here. Then on each of them, you're going to go up three. More temporary oak logs there and there. And one in the middle there. And you get that shape. Then you want to go in and remove your temporary oak logs like so and you get that that is the front of the boathouse and then you want to come over to these bits and just build oak logs across the top of each of these like so and something slightly different on this one you want to do it one block lower for these bits so you get that and of course the rain's starting so let me just Toggle the downfall. There we go. And basically, you want to build these pillars up now to meet the height of the bottom of the arch here. So, this block here you want to meet. And it's very important you don't want to do it on this block here. So, you get that. And something I'm going to do is again put more temporary oak logs there, 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 and there. And similarly, like we did before, there, 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 and there temporary oak logs in the middle and create two more arch structures and remove your temporary oak logs so there you go that is essentially the shape of the framework for the boathouse the next thing you probably want to do is get your stone brick slabs and slab five slabs slap five slabs across there like that and that's going to give you your support for there and come in here and just grab some stone brick stairs and some stone brick blocks here and here. And this is how you're going to create the bit where the boat goes in, supposedly. So you get that, that and that. Want some more slabs as well. And like so. And you just want to go across here with stairs. So this is the basis for the bit where the boat would go and the floor above. And in the gaps left by the oak logs here, you want to put just some stone bricks to close that off. 
and then you can see that's where the boat would go I'm not going to connect it to the water but the idea is it is connected to the water so that's where you park your boat but in this case I'm just going to leave it up on the ground here because of where we decided to build it and you just want to go around the rest of the bottom of the structure and put in your stone brick blocks except on this bit where you want to put your stone brick blocks one further back so like so so you get that and that is the base of the house the next thing we're going to do is put the staircase going up to meet the house so stairs they start one block further forward from your oak log here so they go there and there so there's all the stairs you're going to need to place you need six cobblestone stairs in total and then you're going to put it one block up here and sort of create a corner like so and there we are let's just double check I've done it. yep I've done that correctly so what you've got here now is a staircase that goes up and meets up where the door's going to be without being an awkward kind of shape so it's nice and uh, it's nice to walk up and it's good and that is basically essentially the main criticism that my last design got so that design is now good and now we want to just drag some stone slabs across the top of this and in the gaps left we want to put oak fences and if, if you didn't see before two oak fences and a stair there to create a sort of railing and then in the bits where we've left gaps oak ladders oak ladders oak st uh, fences that's the word and that creates a nice little railing for the outside of the house so it is a boathouse but it's going to have living quarters in it as well just because yeah, there's space and you can but there we go that's the main basis of the build done we just got to do the walls and the roof now we're going to do the roof first so you want to grab bricks and bricks is a roofing material i don't use relatively often but in this sense it works so so well so i'm gonna use bricks which everyone seems to find quite surprising when you do but you want to put bricks on top of all of the oak logs at the front of this arch here and then with the brick stairs you want to go upside down in the gaps and an upside down one in the middle and that creates the front of your arch and on top you want to put two brick slabs that is the basis for your arch and you want to come to the other arch and put a temporary brick stair there remove that then do brick stair there twos there two there and much like we did with the other one we are going to put them like so and depending on your preference you can either have this brick stair facing this way or you can either have it facing that way on the other house as you can see if we fly over there really really quickly i did it facing that way and i think that looks the best but if you really wanted to make it face that way you could also do that but i prefer it facing that way and i suggest you do the same but it's really really up to you and then of course you just come back over here and do again the same thing with the archway roof and i realize now that I forgot to put the underside stairs on like so, there you are, you got your same arch as before, and you want to do the exact same over on this arch, with your upside down as well, and there you go, and don't forget the slabs on top like I almost did, you've got the basis for your roof, as you can see we are really, really coming together now, I just knocked my pop filter with my arm, oops. But anyway, yes, you want to grab your stairs now and essentially connect the arches together, if that makes sense. So you just need to build your brick stairs across until they connect up. And you want to do that on both sides. And this is a place where you can customize this boathouse. I didn't do it because I didn't think it needed it. But if you wanted to, you could put windows in the roof. Uh, or a chimney or something like that just to break up the roof but using bricks there is enough texture variation there that I can warrant leaving it as a flat roof and then with the slabs once again you want to connect up the roofs and there you go you've got the roof done so as you can see the shaping of the build is really really coming along we are almost done we just want to grab some oak planks and some glass and then all you want to do is just basically go in all of the gaps and fill in the wall leaving space for a window so you can put the windows wherever this is where i'm choosing to put the window and of course in the gap put glass so that's where i'm choosing to put that window but you can mess around with that with these four long ones i suggest doing something a bit like this 
so you get a two wide window and in the front here this is where the door is going to go so I did something a little different here for the door uh, what I did is I grabbed a spruce door because they are my favorite door in the game set it about like that and got some stone brick stairs like so and if I they're in decoration now get a cobblestone wall and put that there that is what I did for the side of the house N is it is it what I did? that's what I originally did oh no I did change it in the end yeah I changed it to a wooden trap door so like that is what you want for your house front door area it's like a little porch area and it just gives a little more variation to that side of the wall on the back here you again want to do another window much like the other one straight out the back there and then on this side you can put a window in if you want I am going to you don't have to put a window there and again another window over on this side and you just want to fill those in with glass like before and voila bam there we go that is the exterior of the boathouse done and what you can do of course is take some mossy and some cracked stone bricks mix them within the stone bricks you have here just variate the texture a little bit that just adds a little bit more if you wanted to you can realistically do a lot of things but now I'm going to show you what I did for the interior so as you can see the interior is a little bare and empty but what I want to do is just put stone bricks in the gaps there get some oak wood stairs go along the top of the roof like this so we don't show any of the brick roof and it's just oak wood and I know that's a little boring just fill in all the gaps left with oak wood it's probably a bit of a boring interior and you could do better but that's what I like for the roof in here it just adds a little bit more and you could just put something like a small bed I tend to use a brown bed because it doesn't look too lavish and luxury luxurious I can put a little bed in there like that maybe a bedside table or something and then you could punch a hole down here get yourself some ladders and put ladders there and just go down here and you can have a small cellar if you wanted to just stone brick it up and yeah the cellar would realistically it could end there if you didn't mind the oak wood but if you mind the oak wood just cut it forward you got a small cellar and yeah you could really do whatever you want with the interior but apart from that that is essentially the update to the fishing house slash boathouse tutorial that I did almost two years ago and as you can see it's not that much different I didn't want to take away from the original design too much. I just wanted to update and improve it. So that is all I'm going to be doing for today. I hope you enjoyed this update and I hope it does as well as the original because this is a better build. Not the best build I've ever done, but I kept it in the sort of simple style that the other one was in. But apart from that, I hope you like, comment and subscribe to the video and I will see you in the next tutorial or anything else you watch me in. So see you next time. Goodbye.